Hello, my name is Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and welcome to another video review. Today we're looking at the SteelSeries Siberia version 2 full size headset. What comes included in the box is a little leaflet guide which has got the SteelSeries logo on there and when you open it up it strangely reminds me of Bose and uh, when you actually look at um, leaflets that come with Bose speakers it comes like this, it's just mainly pictures uh, but very high quality pictures showing you the main features. Opening it up a little bit more it tells us about the SteelSeries surfaces that they do, the audio equipment, mice, keyboards and accessories. So it does give you a lot of information on SteelSeries and the rest of their product range and it tells you a little bit of information about SteelSeries themselves. So that's quite handy to have. Also we have a SteelSeries professional gaming gear sticker, so that's up to you whether you want to put that on your case, your keyboard and so forth. We also get a leaflet telling you about warning and how um, to avoid permanent hearing damage, you always use your sound equipment at safe volume levels. Uh, you will find that most um, audio equipment, whether it's from SteelSeries, Sony, whoever, do come with some sort of leaflet explaining that. We would explain that um, SteelSeries and their PR company uh, Immacula have also given us this device which is for plugging into uh, mobile phones, iPhones, iPods and so forth and plugging the headset into here. So we get the microphone and the actual uh, headphone port. We also get this adapter which is for lengthening the cable uh, if you are sitting far, quite far away from the actual audio device and then the headphones themselves with the control and 3.5mm jacks on there. Now taking a look at the actual headset ourselves, uh, we can see it's a little bit different to most headsets on the market in the fact that it is completely white. Taking a look at it, we can see that everything is white in there. White on there, there's a uh, SteelSeries logo just here and it does tell us the left and obviously the right. We can see that there's a nice SteelSeries logo on the actual padded bit and we can see that it has this sort of um, frame actually supporting the headphones themselves. We can see that there's also sort of um, like metal um, springs, which obviously when you've got the headphones on, depending on how big your head is, whether it's a, whether you've got a large head or small head, it will compensate by sort of stretching uh, to the size of your head. We can also see that it uses this uh, sort of tough uh, but soft, in a way, leather material, and it is quite well built to be honest. I'm, I'm quite surprised as to how well built it is um, overall. You can also see that it's got this sort of grill there as well. And also see, once again, on the packaging, it did explain about four times that it has got a microphone. And the microphone's actually situated here. And it's just a matter of pulling it out. And it actually bends about, so you can put it wherever you want, uh, depending on where your mouth is situated to where the headphones are actually sitting on your head. Quite a handy feature on this headphones is this little bit here. Once again, with the SteelSeries logo, so they haven't skimped out on the actual design. They've put their SteelSeries logo all over it, just in case you forget you're wearing a SteelSeries product, maybe. On the side, we've got volume up and volume down on a sort of scroll wheel. And we've also got a bit here saying mic. So it's just a matter of clicking it up or down, depending on whether you want the microphone enabled or disabled. Overall, that sits in sort of the middle of the cable. We can see exactly how much length we've got between that and where it's situated between the headphones. Keep following the wire down and it splits into this little bit here. And then that obviously splits off into two jack plugs. We can see that one's got green bandings around it, which obviously corresponds to the green port on your computer, which is the speaker. And this one's got pink on it, which obviously corresponds to microphone. If you're sitting quite far away from your computer, you may find that uh, the lead supplied on the actual headphones isn't long enough. So they did give you this extension lead as well. And clearly printed on there, it tells us mic and then a little headphone icon as well. So you can see exactly which one is for which. So it's a matter of getting the pink one into the microphone and the green one into the headphone. And then obviously this extends off for quite a few meters actually. And once you get to the end of it, you will notice once again that it's got the microphone and headphone logos on there with the green and the pink as well. And this will extend it so whether you're sitting down on a sofa or laying in bed watching telly and you want, the, want to use the headphones, obviously the headphones don't reach. It's quite handy that it comes with this adapter. Looking at the iPhone uh, 3.5mm jack adapter, we can see once again with that, it's a matter of getting the green one, plugging it into there, and the pink one into there. This then splits into one singular one which has got three bands around it, which is obviously stereo and microphone, and that will plug straight into your iPhone, iPod, 
uh, BlackBerry, any other sort of mobile phone device that uses a 3.5mm jack. So it's quite handy that that uh, was supplied with us, but obviously it does cost extra for that adapter. Taking another look at the headphones, so I just want to explain um, sort of the overall quality of the headphones themselves and how they actually feel when they're on. It's all well and good watching a video review of someone explaining about these, but you can't really tell what they feel like and how heavy they are without having them on. So it is a matter of having to buy the product to tell whether it's the right product for you. Headphones do differ uh, with different people. Obviously, if you've got um, a different size head to someone else or your head's slightly bigger, slightly smaller, you're going to find certain headphones may fit you, certain ones don't. Some are more comfortable than others, and it is on a personal basis. So I find these quite comfortable, and the fact that this bit sort of springs up and down, it does suit my head quite well. The only problem where it is on these sort of um, spring, um, this, this sort of bit is, uh, it's hard to explain on these sort of spring um, wires. It did feel like the headphones were trying to move themselves up constantly when they were sitting on my ears. But overall, the actual padding around here is so comfortable. Uh, I'm currently using Sennheiser headphones and I'd probably say these are actually a little bit more comfortable. How long they will last is anyone's guess and you probably will find on the internet with other reviews and uh, on forums people have uh, explained sort of you know how long their headphones have last. I remember people talking about the Medusa headphones uh, from Speedlink and how terrible they were for breaking but these seem a lot more durable than Speedlink headphones and the fact that it has that built-in microphone which is on a sort of flexible uh, wire is quite a nice little idea and I do like the overall design of this. Overall this is quite a good product, it is solidly built, it feels very robust, it's very very stylish uh, in the white uh, as well as this product does come in a bright red, personally I prefer the white. The only things that I don't really like about it is the fact that when people get headphones like this obviously it comes with the iPhone adapter which only works with the 3GS, they are working on an adapter for the 4G iPhone. but why would anyone sort of walk around with quite chunky uh, headphones on to start with? Personally, I'd prefer the in-ear headphones for that. But if you're going to be using it at home uh, for gaming, Skype, that sort of thing, it's absolutely fantastic. It is quite expensive, in my opinion, for what you actually get. But overall, the packaging is good and the quality of the product is very good. It's just the price tag on it. That's why I'm going to have to give it 4 out of 5 stars.